A British journalist, Simon Ring, was asked to leave Bangladesh twice. Once in 1971, while he was reporting atrocities of the war, and the second time was when the license of a private television channel that he was heading was cancelled by the government in 2002. Beginning from Norfolk in England, Simon has had exceptionally brilliant turns in his life. Expelled as a student from a boarding school for having swum naked in a river, Simon studied at a technical college and at 16, in 1962, Simon Ring was one of the first to walk what was to become the hippie trail to India. He then worked as a proofreader in Thailand and in 1964 covered the Vietnam War as the youngest ever correspondent for Reuters. Simon continued reporting in the 1970s and the 80s as a correspondent for the Daily Telegraph and BBC and covered Asia, Latin America, Africa, Europe and the Middle East. In March 1971, the journalists of leading newspapers of the world who had gathered in Dhaka to cover the Yahya Bhutto Mujib negotiations were forcibly evicted from Dhaka after the genocide began on the night of March 25th. However, a few brave journalists like Simon Ring hid themselves at the Hotel Intercontinental, now Hotel Ruposhi Bangla, where we are today, and in the laundry. Mr. Ring happened to be the first journalist to be able to inform the world from Bangladesh of the tragic events in the Daily Telegraph UK. Bangladesh remains ever grateful to Simon Ring for his love and support during the Liberation War.